I have a question. Why are we doing this? What do you mean? The, the meeting? The invasion, like taking over human bodies and then pretending to live their lives. Like, is, is there a plan? I had to travel a quarter of a billion light years to get here. Now I work at Foot Locker. First off, can you just tell me about Checkpoint Media? Checkpoint Media is a production company that I run with Mike Nader. Mm -hmm. um, we started probably a year and a half ago, two years ago off the top of my head. And it was sort of born out of, Mike and I used to run a comedy room called Checkpoint Charlie Comedy. Mike and I both worked at a production company at the time. Um, so yeah, we sort of just moved from kind of making videos to, with comedians to sort of starting our own company and then producing comedy content and that kind of thing. What productions have you been responsible for? Uh, what have we done? So our thing at the moment uh, is our new web series called Dane's World uh, with Dane Rathbone, which is pretty fucking weird. And we just did the Fancy Boy stuff with ABC for Fresh Blood. This is the guy I want you to take care of. So I'll give you 50% now, and I'll give you 50% when the job's done. So I get 50% now before I even do the job? Yeah, I'll just take that. I'll just keep that. Sick! We had a viral video of a uh, racist guys on a bus. There was just a racist incident on a bus in uh, Frankston, I think, mm -hmm. to really dispel the, the uh, cliche. So I was lucky enough to find myself on a bus with the Aristorats, the Duke of Frankston, Lord Smack Habit, and his lovely wife, Queen of the Herpes. Um, and yeah, there was, it sort of went really big. I think it's got like 4 million hits or something like that. So, um, yeah, that. <laughs> so was that just a, a spontaneous thing or was that... Sick? Yeah, it was spontaneous. Mark was on the on the bus on the way to his parents' house, I think, and, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, this sort of thing, and then Mike had up this sort of thing, and it went uh, much bigger than we were expecting. <laughs> what was it like scoring that big contract with Fresh Blood? Yeah, it was great. Um, yeah, it was really cool. It was really fun. I just got to sort of work with my mates and write a bunch of, you know, write a bunch of comedy. What kind of equipment do you use? We've got, like, a few 5Ds. We use reds, mics, lighting, green screen. Yeah, we've got everything, pretty much. Yeah. Many of your projects have been centred around, like, series. Do you have mm. any plans to do, like, one-off sketches, or do you want to focus on series? Well, I think early days we did a lot of one-off sketches. We, Mike and I did one just on our YouTube channel, and then we did a one with Tom Ward and uh, another one with Luke McGregor. Um, so, yeah, we've done a lot of sort of short-form sketches, so I think probably series is more where we're looking at the moment and uh, producing sort of long form content. What do you think the future is for like web series? And do you think it's something that's gonna keep getting bigger and bigger? Yeah, definitely. I think that's where everything's heading. It's sort of at this point now where it's kind of the wild west a little bit and everyone uh, knows how to put stuff out but no one really knows how to make money yet. And I think once that sort of clicks for everyone and once advertisers start realizing that there's actually more people on YouTube than there is on TV, then I think, I think that'll all change. Yeah, and do you think that TVs are going to have to change their tack to like keep up. Yeah, definitely. I think you're already saying that with sort of uh, online catch up online programming content and that sort available. of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What are some of the upcoming projects that you can talk about? We're doing something with the Skills in Time guys, so Greg Larson, Sam Campbell, and Henry Stone, who are uh, making a sort of web pilot for SBS. Mm -hmm part of their comedy runway thing, so we're producing that for those guys. So that'll be a show called Nostalgics, um, which is sort of a uh, piss take on that 20 to 1 kind of style show, and mm -hmm. it's sort of just uh, like a retrospective on these shows that didn't actually exist.